Today I'm going to do a pretty quick review in Sonic 2, which I did see in the first week, not opening weekend. I've just been doing too much work and like other stuff. Not work, like I said, work. But, um, just work as in, um, like, we work at properties and we work, and I've done a bunch of schoolwork and homework, so, on with the review. I love Sonic 1, but it was just felt like a fun adventure with Sonic, and these new trailers for Sonic 2 seemed w way different than Sonic 1, but this movie was such a blast. Sonic and Tails were enjoyable, and Tails has never been my favorite out of all the video games, and it... He is better than any other version of Tails. Any other. And um, is better in Sonic 2 than any other version in Sonic show or game, in my opinion. Um, Jim Carrey never gets old, and Jim Carrey just said he's done acting, so Sonic 2 was a good end for Jim. One thing that if you watch this movie in the um, theaters, the cast thanks you for watching the movie, and Jim Carrey wasn't in, the, um, in it, so he was just too good for that, I guess. The negatives is a little weird things that happen in between, but for me, that was the most part of the show or something. That was, um, that was amazing. That was the, um, I love those little parts in between when Tails runs off and everything. Uh, most people think it's a negative that uh, had a runtime of two hours or something. Um, I think it's two hours, four minutes. And, I don't really think it's that bad. I actually didn't even think this is this long movie. I loved the side plots, especially the wedding scene. And, um, like, one of the best scenes in the movie was at the wedding. And after that part, another awesome part of the movie was the very end at the um, baseball game. I laughed so hard. Which brings me to how funny this movie was. I, I laughed a lot, maybe even funnier than the first movie. I know people hated the runtime. But it was su such a fun, so fun for me. I loved it. Also, the end credit scene. Um, not gonna spoil anything. Well, it was amazing. This brings me back to the original, where everyone only wanted to watch the movie because of Jim Carrey. And now for the third movie, there will be no Jim Carrey, and I wonder how that movie will do differently. Maybe a more serious Sonic movie, unlike Sonic 2, which had a lot of corny humor, but I really liked it. So for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I'll give action three and a half stars. It can be slow and not get really, um, and not any really choreographed scenes, but that ending scene was action-packed, and the scenes with Knuckles and Sonic had some good action. For comedy, it gets three stars. The humor is okay, but a few scenes made it funny. The wedding and the baseball scene, mainly. Idris Elba is such a good Knuckles. Um, for horror, none. Sonic 2 gets an A. This this movie tops the first one. You should go watch it. It's the best movie of 2022 so far. Better than The Adams Project. By a pretty big margin. Bye.